Hi, I'm Robert Osborne, and welcome. This is a very special time for all of us here at TCM. This week marks our 20th anniversary, 20 years of TCM. And to celebrate, we have something very special, we think, for you. 20 of our fans are going to join me this week to be a guest programmer. Each of them were asked to select one of their favorite films, then come and help me introduce the movie, but most importantly, let us know why it's one of their favorite movies. And our first guest is Tiffany Vasquez from the Bronx, New York the grand prize winner, actually, of our TCM Ultimate Fan Contest. She couldn't explain what all that means, so welcome, Tiffany. It's a dream to be here. Thank well, you, thanks. Robert. <laughs> it's so nice to have you here. Tell, tell us about this Ultimate Fan Contest. Sure. Uh, one day I went on TCM.com, because I do almost every day, yes. <laughs> and I saw that there was a contest running where all you had to do was um, submit a 90-second video introducing a film of your choice right. and be as creative as you'd like and just really have fun with it and um, be passionate about why you like this film, why you picked this film. And the prize was what? The prize was not only to come here and introduce a film with you, but to also go to the film festival and introduce a film in front of a crowd. Yes. <laughs> And that's going to be you, right? And that's going to be me. Oh, that's great. Yeah. And the movie that you submitted for the contest uh, was The Naked City, yes. which is you're going to be introducing with me right now, mm -hmm. and you will be introducing at the film festival, yes. right? Yes, yes. That's very exciting. It is. Hi, I'm Tiffany Vasquez. In 1945, a tabloid photographer nicknamed Ouija published a book of his best work. He called it Naked City, and it included pictures of porches, crime scenes, and other spectacles of New York street life. Soon after, a producer named Mark Hellinger used it as the inspiration for the 1948 film, The Naked City. We tried going to downtown Brooklyn, but again, there are 8 million stories in the city and just about as many people walking around downtown Brooklyn. So we drove around a bit and finally found a great spot in Williamsburg, and that's where I did the whole intro, and it ended up being perfect because what better way to have a character in my intro than have the skyline being the biggest character in the Naked City. And you kind of did that at your lunch hour, right? Yeah, From in the work. lunch hour, and I would really <laughs> love to thank pals. the people who work with me for really just... Oh, doing an amazing job working with me. Oh, that's great. And tell about the power, that you didn't have any power. Yeah, the... Uh, the batteries were not present for the camera, so we ended up hooking up the camera to the car that was parked, so we had this super long extension cord hooked up to the camera, and, you know, when you got to make it work, you make it work. Yes, indeed. What fun, though. What yeah. fun. And you won the contest. So tell us why The Naked City. It is a great film, but why did you pick that? Well, sometimes uh, when you watch a film that takes place in New York, it's pretty limited to Manhattan. Uh -huh. Maybe Brooklyn sometimes, but it's pretty limited to Manhattan. And the reason why I love this film so much is you see Jimmy Halloran, and he lives in Queens. He takes the train home to Queens. And you see him go to the Bronx Courthouse. Other boroughs are definitely involved within the story, and you are constantly reminded that this city is five boroughs, and there are so many dynamic aspects to it. Mm -hmm. And the movie just constantly reminds you of that, which is what I love. It's a great way also to see uh, history, yeah. to see what New York was like. Yes. At that time. You absolutely see the history of New York. It was filmed in 1947, so you see what the streets were like back then. Right. And that's changed dramatically. But what hasn't changed is the crowds, how crowded it is in rush hour. You get to make friends that maybe you don't want to make because they're all over you. And um, you just be able to see all the different changes in New York. It's incredible. And that's why we love New York. Yeah, that's why yeah. we love New York. All those people and all the changes. Yeah, Always some there. things never will change, yeah. like the just boldness of New Yorkers, and that definitely comes through in The Naked City as well. Well, let's see the film. Here it is, a movie starring Barry Fitzgerald with Howard Duff, Dorothy Hart, and Don Taylor. From 1948, directed by Jules Dassin, The Naked City. Terrific film. And I'm here with my special guest who selected that movie for us to see, our TCM Ultimate Fan Video Contest winner, Tiffany Vasquez, who's here with us to help celebrate our 20th anniversary. So good to have you here. It's really One great One thing I love about this film, and why I love the fact you picked it, is Barry Fitzgerald, we're always used to seeing as a curmudgeon old priest or old country doctor or something, you know, really character man, uh, catered affair, you know, he's the unwelcome or the welcome, you know, visitor at the house that never leaves and everything. But to see him in a really dynamic performance as a detective and you realize what a really good actor he was. You do. He's sort of the heart of the film in uh -huh. a way because he, he keeps the plot moving along. But what I also love about it is that you have New York as this central character and it is this sort of murder investigation, police procedural, but you're constantly reminded throughout the film that there are eight million stories in New York. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, Mark Hellinger, who narrated it, will uh, talk about children playing on the street. He'll talk about the boys that jump in the East River. Um, two women looking at dresses in a shop, where you hear their thoughts. And it's just important to know that there are many stories in this city, and it's not just about murder. Right. There are people making a life for themselves. They're making right. honest livings. They're raising children. Right. And it all comes together to make this city as alive as it is. And we also have to say this was, of course, the predecessor to the TV series that went on for a long time, Naked City. Yes. And all its many stories. Mm -hmm. Yes. Well, are you excited about introducing the, the, the film festival? I can't tell week? you how excited I yes. am to it's be introducing be great. it. You'll yeah. have a good time. It is going to be a great time. Yes. Well, thank you so much for being with us. Thank you for, for having me. Ultimate fan. Oh. Congratulations yeah. on that. Because mm -hmm. I know there were a lot of terrific people and a lot of terrific videos submitted for the contest. Yeah, I saw them. They were amazing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So congratulations again. Thank you. Thanks for being here. Okay. And I'll see you at the festival. Yes. Okay. <laughs> And you stay with us, please. We're going to continue celebrating TCM's 20th anniversary with another one of this week's guest programmers, a TCM fan, also from New York, who's going to help me introduce one of his favorite films, a movie directed by Ali Kazan with a tour de force performance by Andy Griffith.